So when we're getting ready to prune the patient, um, there's some prep work that has to happen, so it's best for the primary nurse to gather all of the supplies ahead of time. Um, there's a list of supplies in the policy that we've written down, um, and that can be accessed um, pretty easily. We'll have it in the room available when we prune these patients. So the big thing is to make sure the patient actually doesn't have any gown on or anything at the time. You'll leave your EKG stickers on while you're doing the prep work, but start to remove any unnecessary tubes. So disconnect your tube feed from your job off tube, um, make sure that your A-line and everything is kind of ready to be disconnected when you're ready to go um, and remove anything that's not necessary. Uh, the patient will need to be on just a flat sheet at this point um, and then you'll gather the team once all your supplies and everything is ready. You're also going to want to make sure that all of your tubes are secured properly so your ET tube, Dobhoff tube, those need to be in place as well as possible. Best for the Dobhoff tube to be bridled. Um, and for RT to come look at the tube and make sure your ET tube is as secure as possible. So once all of those things are in place, then you're ready to gather the team and move. So um, you have to have RT at the head of the bed and then three people on each side. Make sure you've got a point person, which is usually the primary nurse, um, and then you're ready to go. So the first step is going to be to cover the patient um, in a flat sheet. And at this point, you can remove the EKG leads. Make sure you have electrodes at the bedside for as soon as the patient's prone um, to place on the back. I'm gonna tuck the hands underneath the hip on both sides so that they're in a position where they'll stay tucked while we prone. Try and keep all the wrinkles out of the flat sheet so that everything um, is nice and flat against the patient's skin. So then you're gonna start with the pillows. Um, it's best to double your pillows in the same pillowcase so that they don't slide all over the place when possible. Um, and you're gonna use Two pillows on the chest, two on the hips, and two on the shins. At this time, you'll then take your third flat sheet and cover the pillows with the third flat sheet. Now's the point where communication becomes key. So you want to make sure that your point person is the only person talking. So once those sheets are in place, you're actually going to take all three sheets and roll them together. You're going to be turning towards the ventilator. So the people on the side of the ventilator will roll their sheet down and under. And the people on the far side away from the ventilator will roll all three sheets together in an upward direction. And you're going to get those as snug as possible and make a nice little human burrito. While all this is happening, the RT's focus is going to be just watching the tube, make sure everything stays in place and that we're not bumping anything that shouldn't be bumped. As soon as this is done, your key person is going to be your person to direct things. So they'll give directions um, based on the location of the ventilator um, and be very clear in those. And we'll do everything on the count of the RT who's at the head of the bed. So the RT will actually be in charge of holding the patient's head so that we don't slide their head across. And on the RT's count, we're going to go straight up so that the patient's head is actually hovering over the head of the bed. So on three. One, two, three. So once you get to that position, the next step is going to be to slide the patient laterally away from the ventilator. So on RT's count, away from the ventilator. One, The next step is going to be to actually turn the patient on their side in the direction towards the ventilator. So the key to this is to make sure that the people on the ventilator side have the roll of the sheets in their hand and that they really connect hands once the patient's on the side and make sure they hand off that roll of the sheet. So make sure you've got a good grip. So on RT's count, we'll go three onto the patient's side. One, two, three. And at this point, hands change place and you just make sure you've got a good grip on those rolls. Sometimes this takes a minute, the fitted sheet's a little clingy, and we just have to get everything into the right place. So you've got to wait until all members of the team are ready. Okay, ready? So on three, we're going to go all the way over and put her in a completely prone position. And at this point, we'll take a stop. And we're going to go straight up to make sure that her head is actually clear off the bed. So straight up towards the RT at the head of the bed. Now comes the part where we kind of get all the pillows situated and the face situated. So at this point, you can unroll the sheets. 
and you want to look to see if the patient is really in a neutral centered position. So as you can see, she's leaning a little bit, so the way to correct that is going to be to move our pillows a little bit in the chest and hip area. So the easiest way to do this is going to be for us to actually lift her straight up in the air with the sheet closest to her skin and have somebody adjust the pillow. So this is where it's nice to have an extra set of hands. So straight up in the air on three. So she's in a nice straight neutral position. At this point, we want to make sure that we're getting leads on her back. So we have her back on the cardiac monitor, and then we'll focus on getting her head in the proper spot. So we've got the face pillow on a backboard situated at the top of the head of the bed so that her head is actually floating off of the mattress. And with the work of RT and one other person, we'll position the tube in the proper spot. We want to make sure that her eyes are in the hole at the top of the pillow and that the tube is in a neutral position so that we're not kinking it off. So we actually need to come up just a little to get her face a little more off the bed. So straight up towards the RT on three. Yes, take the bottom sheet. One, two, three. By taking the bottom sheet, you make sure the pillows stay in the same place and it keeps everything in the same position. So once you've got everything in a good spot, the next step is to just get her situated with her arms. So you want to move her arms into a swimmer's position, so one arm up, one arm down. And you want to make sure everything's in a neutral position, not hyperextending the joints or anything. So use pillows to prop them up. Make sure that the patient kind of looks like they're in a comfortable position. The next step will be to reverse Trendelenburg the bed. At this time, a lot of times the patient will slide down, so it's good to make sure RT stays at the head of the bed and you've got help just in case they slide down. And those are all the steps that you need for the entire team, so at that point the team can be dismissed to whatever they were doing with other patients in the units, um, and at that point the primary nurse and one other person can help to assist in making sure that the patient's comfortable, all of the pressure points are floating like the knees and the toes, um, and that everything is exactly hooked up the way that it needs to be.